Hey, welcome to the complete walkthrough of Obsidian Xcolidraw. I've done a couple of months of development on this plugin and I thought it's time to have a proper complete walkthrough updated with all the current features of the tool. And so this uh, series of short videos is going to start with a getting started piece, which is right this one. And then I'm going to talk about some uh, native Xcolid Draw features. Then we'll look at embedding drawings into your documents and portability of your files. Then we'll look at links in the drawings and uh, block transclusions. Then we'll look at some of the markdown features. Uh, look at templating and a special template approach using Xcolidra Automate. And finally, we'll touch on some miscellaneous topics. And on getting started, um, so there are many ways to create a new drawing. You can use the command palette and I can just simply uh, type create a, a drawing uh, uh, in a new pane right here and if I click this then you can see that a new drawing is created with an automatically generated file name. I can also use the ribbon button I won't show you but it works the same way if I click the ribbon button then it creates a drawing in the active pane so it will open up right here if I control click it then it creates a new drawing in a new pane. Uh, similarly, in the file explorer, uh, if I right click anywhere in the file explorer, I can um, select new Xcolid draw drawing. And again, the same thing happens if I control click it, then the drawing is created in a new pane. I want to show you the last approach. So if I create a new document, which is now untitled one, uh, this is a markdown document, I can uh, hit uh, command P and I can type convert uh, and here I can choose convert empty note to Xcolid draw drawing and if I click this then my markdown document uh, is converted uh, into an Xcolid draw uh, drawing. And finally uh, when drawings are created using uh, solution one two three then uh, files are automatically saved to a predefined folder. The default is the Xcolid Draw folder, so you can see all of these files right here. But if you come to settings uh, for Xcolid Draw, then you can actually specify the folder where it should be created. Also, here under file name, you can set the prefix uh, for, for the file name as well as the file name. Uh, is uh, or has a date and you can set the date uh, if you want to read about the reference uh, for how to specify the date you can follow this link and uh, open up uh, the help page and that's it for now we'll continue on in the next one with some of the basic uh, shapes and features thank you